welcome to Spam Filter for Your Brain, bite-sized ponderings on how our thoughts influence our behaviour and our lives, and because we're all connected, how our thoughts impact the world. I'm here to help people reconnect with their bodies and declutter their brains. And I don't believe that we should just magically know how our emotions and our thoughts impact our lives if no one ever teaches us. So let's learn this stuff together. This one's a little podcast for the people who feel too much. Who feel like their emotions are too big or too loud or too present to want to deal with. Or maybe you just feel like you feel too much for this world. And these are hard times. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in so many different areas. And I talk a lot about feeling your feelings. And I'm kind of directly speaking to the people who think, maybe I need to feel a little bit less, actually. Maybe I have way too many feelings. And firstly, I just want to acknowledge you and say that I see you. This is why I wanted to record this podcast today. But also just to tiptoe in with the message, if it's useful for you that maybe you don't have too many feelings and maybe your feelings aren't too big. Quite often, I think a lot of us feel like the feelings that we think are too much, too big, too loud, too raw, we're so uncomfortable with them that we spend quite a lot of effort trying to get away from them and trying to create a situation where we don't have to be exposed by the volume of such big emotions, the tidal wave that comes. And so we do a lot of things to try and escape feeling like that. And we do so many things to try and escape it, whether it is from cleaning our kitchen through to disappearing into Instagram, through to calling our friends for validation, through to curling up with a book and a thousand other different options that may may or may not involve crisps. Just trying to get away from those big, big feelings. Quite often we can think that all of the things that we do to escape the emotion is the emotion itself. We link all of these feelings of trying to get away from something and feeling really squirmy and not feeling comfortable and constantly feeling like we have to overwork or have to do all of this stuff to get away, that that's the feeling itself. We think that's what fear feels like. We think that's what anger feels like. We think that's what jealousy feels like. All of these icky emotions, we start to confuse with the feeling of trying to escape them. And actually, once we allow these emotions into our world, suddenly they stop shouting at us. They stop shouting that they're not feeling heard or not feeling listened to or not feeling welcome. Sometimes we can just, if we have the braveness of being able to sit with something and feel it to its full depths, there, in my experience, I find it dissipates. Once I see it, I acknowledge it, I allow it into my world. Suddenly from there, I can start to see the other side of it. So this is just an invitation to you. Maybe you're not feeling too many feelings. Maybe you, it's not all quite so overwhelming emotionally all of the time. Maybe avoiding your feelings is what feels really overwhelming. And maybe something else could be possible. I hope this has been useful this week. And I'm wishing you gentle journeys through the stormy seas of all of the big feels that this life can bring. See you next week. If you're enjoying what you're hearing on the podcast here, I would love to invite you to self-care school. Self Care School is a membership site where we have group coaching calls every week. We have a whole load of courses that you can dip into for whatever suits your needs. We have courses on confidence, body image, um, timekeeping, how to manage big emotions, um, overwhelm, 
loads and loads of stuff in there. You can kind of pick out whatever you want to work on. There is a big library of workbooks, which includes journal prompts and questions for you to be able to apply this work to your own life. And we we have the most amazing community where people support each other. We learn from each other and you get to work alongside people with quite often very different life situations to your own and we learn so much together in community if you would like some more of this please do hop over to selfcareschool.co.uk